steps. There's the freedom on all levels of existence that you know is in there. And we knowingly and willfully lie to ourselves to say, that's not what I really want. That's not who I really am. I gotta be this in order to do that. Okay, what does that have to do with the truth? Nothing. And the only person we're screwing over is ourselves. And we know that too, which then begets more emotional stuffing because now we know we're doing it. And then we lie about that too. Ah, oh, yeah, I know I do it, but I have to do it to do my job. Or I have to do it to be in this relationship. Or I have to do it because that's what they say. Or I have to blah, 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 whatever. You get the point. Does that make sense? Now we're using that as a way to put ourselves back into a prison inside the castle. You know, most castles have dungeons, right? What's down in your dungeon? Would you lock away so long ago and told yourself an emotional lie, hypnotized yourself to the degree that you actually believe your so wholeheartedly that you actually believe it. But know that if you were just to take a moment, like today, invitation extended to sit still, reflect with someone who says, I don't give a flip where you're from, what you did, what you came from, what your economic situations, political situation, gender or situation, sexual prep, none of that matters. I'm gonna sit with you and I'm gonna jam. And I'm gonna hold a space of unconditional love. What happens then?